Hi everyone, it's um, 7.25 p.m. and earlier today I took my camera with a black and white film and I did this. The thing is, this black and white film was processed with this, Coca-Cola. Let's check this out. Alternative formulas for processing film with caffeine, caffeinol, instant coffee, have been around for a while now, but um, I've never seen somebody using Coca-Cola, so uh, I think it's worth a try, especially since this beverage contains caffeine. So without further ado, I'm going to load a film in my Cosina camera here, and let's get shooting. A few moments later. Anyways, uh, now it's time for some chemistry. I'm gonna get inspired by the caffeinol formula uh, with a few changes. Obviously, I'm not gonna use coffee, I'm gonna use Coca Cola, but I see that it contains phosphoric acid, so I'm gonna need to neutralize that and I'm gonna try some baking soda. Plus, it's gonna help me get rid of the sizzling of the coke because I mean, you don't want uh, air droplets onto your negatives, that's not gonna look good. So, um, well, let's say for five grams of baking soda and there we are now we need some vitamin C and I got these we need one gram and so these tablets are gonna be perfect to get dissolved into the coca-cola and the last ingredient is a soda ash and they require 30 grams of soda ash and I think that's um, good enough now let's have this turn get it to room temperature and let's process the film um, the developing time is around one hour and thanks to the magic of video editing, it's gonna happen right now. I'm not gonna use any stop bath, but instead I'm gonna rinse it five to six times with uh, plain water until um, the chemicals are worn out. And for the fixer bath, it's gonna be your classical fixing for black and white film. And now for the moment of truth. No way. <laughs> it works! It worked! It worked! It actually worked! I processed the black and white film with Coca-Cola. How cool is that? I mean, I just used some soda ash, vitamin C and, and Coke and it worked. Well, obviously the film is not perfect, uh, well, it lacks some density, but we'll see about that. I'm pretty sure the scanner won't have any issues with this. Let's review the pictures. And well, it turned out to be cool, I mean. Well, that's not something I'm gonna do every day, obviously. I would still prefer my D72 or D76 film developer over that, but Coca-Cola, <laughs> it worked. And uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's uh, a surprise to me. And um, I played along, I didn't look for the film before. And no, I didn't try that. I, it was a, a total shot in the dark and, and it worked. Maybe some uh, refinements to the formula would be in order, but well, I'm pretty happy about this. Anyways, that's all I've got for you today. As always, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.